every branch or after branch, you have to close the gaps. There's four main gaps you need to close when you're punching. The first one, Ross jabs, and throw the pad back, he's got to cover that side of his head. So as soon as he hits here, if he's lazy with that punch, he doesn't bring it back either fast enough, or he loops it a little bit, or he just doesn't really concentrate on bringing it back. There's a big gap here, okay? So if he doesn't bring it back, he's going to get to that from the side of the head. He brought it back that time. So, that's the first one. He jabs, I hit back over here, he's got to cover it. Number two, he crosses, I hit from that side. Three, he throws the jab again, then I hit the body, see how I have to bring it down. It's easier if you just stay in this sort of stance, like nice and punch, then you haven't got to react too much. So number three, jabs, I hit the body. Number four, it crosses, I hit the body on that side. So you're just making sure there's no gaps in the hit. So he goes one, two, three, and four. And again, get five to one.